but it always respects what the minority wants. So the minority, in our case the transgender people, they want, they, they want something. So if a male believes that he is a female, uh, he should or she should do what she wants or he wants. And uh, that's why they could have um, a female or a male bathroom. So, Uh, what we're trying to say is that the choice should be theirs, not someone else's. As long as they're not hurting someone and not forcing into someone, they should be allowed to do as they please. <laughs> we think that transgender people should have their own restrooms, mostly because of the reason that uh, they usually feel themselves uncomfortable if they are uh, forced to enter one of the two restrooms that we have currently and that might result in them uh, feeling discriminated from the society and in the end they can uh, feel less valuable and like probably transgender people have already a lot of issues uh, nowadays so uh, if they had their own restrooms it would probably help them at least in some ways and uh, make them feel more worthy, I don't know. So we totally disagree uh, no, we totally agree with uh, <laughs> the transgender should have their own uh, restrooms because if, uh, for example, I would feel like a woman and I would go to a woman's bed, to ladies' bedroom, they probably would kick me out. So I think that's the main reason why they should have their own. Um... Well, I can relate to the thing that I wanted to say before now. Uh, there is the question to uh, to where to put them, and if there are not their own restrooms, because yeah, you know, um, uh, there might be some people that might uh, even misuse this, uh, like the like pervert, uh, as it is now, because uh, the the, uh, the people that are originally the men, they have to go to the men, but if they are like uh, now changes to women, they they. Uh, they would like to go to the women's room, but I, I just wanted to say, okay. <laughs> okay, I will just continue because what he's saying that discrimination is a really important factor in this case. Because nowadays, 21% of transgender people hide their gender transition because of discrimination. It's a really important role that um, this study was actually made by National Center of Transgender Equality. We agree with the motion that there are parents, perhaps among them among us, and we agree it's going to be really hard. But the point is, when are we going to change? 
like we can keep saying we'll do it tomorrow, that will be more equal, that will make them feel more part of the community, but eventually we must actually try something. And this is a very good stop. It's going to be a hard one, but it's something that we need to do if we want to move forward and make minorities be more accepted. So the situation right now is working. Why? The cost in time and money would be huge to create uh, two more types of restrooms, like transgender mm -hmm. and transgender women. Uh, okay. The main point we're actually trying to make, okay, it's gonna be, it's gonna be costly, but we should really not focus that much on that. What we really want to focus is that it's trying to this struggle for equality and acceptance to actually. Uh, that although it might be a bit more costly than the casual uh, restrooms, uh, it is still not a that huge issue because after all uh, the. Two restrooms, uh, they don't have to be like a whole two restrooms, they can just make the uh, last restrooms a little bit smaller and maybe cut a few toilets that will be used in the, the uh, new restrooms for the transgender people. So it probably wouldn't be that huge issue for the restaurants or other institutions to add a few of these restrooms to the current ones. So now, uh, when transgender, transgender people are more among people, among the like normal men, uh, you would feel more comfortably uh, as non-transgender when they would have their own restrooms because you will feel more like safe. We have to agree that two plus two restrooms aren't that much. I mean, for example, um, it would cost for these people a lot. It would worth a lot for these people, but restaurants could afford this, could afford these two restrooms. And what you said that normal people, I can question it, that what do we mean under normal people? Because we should accept them too. It's just um, a little bit questionable, but... Yeah, yeah. The people are, if they hadn't, they, they, if they don't have their own restrooms, then people might like dis discriminate them and don't uh, don't ex uh, ex uh, accept accept them. And some people accept them, but not all. Not all. There are not all people accept the transgenders. So if they do, do have their own restrooms, then uh, there there is no really discrimination in the restroom. I think a point it missed here, if we make two more toilets, I'm pretty sure what we're going to succeed is making them feel more isolated. Oh look, this is our space, we can't be there. You are what you feel like, I think that's what democracy and freedom is all about. So if we are forcing them to go somewhere they don't really want to, when actually they're doing nothing bad, I don't think we'll call us as democratic countries, certainly not liberal ones. Uh, I think uh, if a woman feels like that he is a man, then he, then it's he, and he don't need to have a transgender man restroom because it just doesn't make sense. It makes just more, so the society will not accept them. So yeah. Uh, although it is true that uh, if he had the transgender restrooms, some people may not actually use them because they would be, uh, let's say, scared of the society's reaction. Like they would, you would see your friend going to transgender toilet, and you would maybe react in uh, like a bad way. But after all, I think like it would help uh, during the upcoming years to improve the, uh, the, the situation of transgenders, and people would start to getting used to it. And it's just probably a matter of time until the restrooms would be like a casual thing and uh, we wouldn't question their existence anymore and wouldn't be like skeptical. So, uh, yeah, probably having these restrooms isn't that bad. Uh, I think that it will be much easier to choose, uh, to, uh, to choice uh, for transgender to choose uh, their restrooms because now they could be confused which one use and uh, now uh, yes I could continue like 
they didn't actually solve the problem to, to which co uh, restaurants they should go demands or yeah it's their decision but yeah it's weird it could be weird for those people and it could be weird for those people it's like very big problems so to, to sum up it like um, they it's not solved problem so the, the, uh, their own restaurants would solve it right? the, there would be no problem in decision uh, to which to go and the people are right yeah so in the end to conclude everything i might be wrong but if the two sides aren't ready to integrate we can't integrate it's just forcing to integrate someone and discrimination is still around so that's why we think that uh, this whole problem still stands and that's why we should have plus two restrooms so uh, in the first case, it's unnecessary because why should we do this restrooms, rather than restrooms? And in the second case, we could spend this money on much more uh, necessary things. Like it's we could we could do hospitals like better ones and stuff, and not spending the time on these things. But it's silly and unnecessary, I think. The point is here. Yes, no one is ready, but we'll never be ready for it. We just have to go through it. Everyone, when people transited from time to democracy, it was not good at the beginning. So what we need to think is, is it actually uh, viable? And since it is viable, we just have to deal with some repercussions for it and then move forward. Uh, I think that's democracy is worth fighting for. And one of the main thing, aspects of liberal democracy that we're supposed to have is respect minority. So we have. So in the, in the conclusion, uh, I'll agree that uh, the transgender people uh, <laughs> You are still talking uh, okay, that uh, it will be too expensive. Have you ever been to big shopping mall? There are dozens of, uh, of like toilets. So I think two more uh, restrooms, it will have to be big. Two more small restrooms, it would not be that expensive and it would help much more.